So we're going to be talking about commas. Commas in a series of nouns. Now we use a comma for a lot of different purposes. First off, a comma tells a reader where to pause when they are reading. A comma also helps to make the meaning of a sentence clear. So when you're reading and you have a comma, you pause and it helps make the sentence more clear. The other reason we use a comma is when you list three or more words together in a sentence. The list is called a series. We use commas to separate nouns in a series. Sophia put on her hat, comma, gloves, comma, and boots to go outside in the snow. Now, I'm going to move this up so you can see it a little better. Marcus speaks Spanish, comma, French, and Mandarin. Now, we have a list of three things. So we separate Spanish, comma, French, comma, and Mandarin. We're only using two commas there. Do you notice that? Here's some more examples. I like pizza, comma, pasta, comma, and Now I only put commas after the first two things in my list. My last comma is before the word and. Mary went to school, comma, the store, comma, and home. Okay? We have a comma after school, and then a comma after store. She went three places. She went school, went to school, she went to the store, and she went home. So she went three places. And we put our comma here and here. Our comma is here and here. Do you see the places we put our commas, boys and girls? Mm -hmm. Now what we're going to do is, is we're going to practice adding some commas. So we're going to determine where commas are needed in the sentences below. Okay, so here I'm going to put the commas. Determine where commas are needed. Oscar added lettuce, tomatoes, and carrots to the bowl. So where would I put some commas there, Yanni? In front of the word lettuce? Mm -hmm. No, I wouldn't put it in front of lettuce. Rethink that. Here. Let's look. Where did I put them? Look again. I like pizza, comma, pasta, comma, and steak. Mary went to school, comma, the store, comma, and oh, you see where I put them? Did I put them before the word or after the word? After. after the word. So now, where do you think I'm going to put them? Oscar added lettuce, tomatoes, and carrots to the bowl. So where should I put those commas? And put so, in the middle of lettuce and tomatoes. So I'm going to put it after the word lettuce. And after the word tomatoes, that's where it goes. Much better. Jessica stirred eggs, cheese, and vegetables together. Where am I going to put that? Ethan. What? 
Where am I going to put the commas? Um, eggs. Where eggs? Before or after the word eggs? Before or after the word eggs? Oh. Before or after the word? Before. I'm going to put it here. Is that where I'm going to put it? No, I'm not going to. I'm going to put it after. Okay. I'm going to put it after. Okay, now where am I going to put the next one? Cheese after. After cheese. Very good. After cheese. Chin measured yogurt, berries, and spinach for his breakfast smoothie. Where's the next one going to go? Libby. At the end of yogurt, where else? At the end of berries. At the end of berries. Thank you. Dad reads the newspaper, a book, and a magazine on Saturday mornings. Where am I going to put those? Thomas. Newspaper, where else? <coughs> After book. After book, very nice. Antonia invited Jack, Claire, and Gil over to play games. Where am I going to put those? Where should I put those? Logan. Jack, comma, and then Claire, comma. After Jack and after Claire, very nice. So now you have got a paper. Let's look at it. <coughs> Let's erase those and let us see what we need to do, boys and girls. It says we're on 5.1.1. Is everybody on 5.1.1? Yes. It says a series is a list of three or more words used in a sentence. Okay? Use commas to separate three or more nouns included in a series. Commas tell readers where to pause. This salad has lettuce, tomatoes, and cucumbers. Did you see the way I kind of paused after I read each of the ingredients? Yes. Now it says write each sentence correctly. Add commas where they are needed. So, let's look at sentence number one. I'm going to write sentence number one, then you're going to write the rest of the sentences yourself. Okay? Who'd like to help me with sentence number one? Kelsey, what are we going to write there? Very good. So, we're going to write Rachel, comma, Rachel, comma, Miguel, comma, and I are in the same class. questions you have about what you're supposed to do? Do you have questions? Yes, Yanni? No, only 5.1.1 because that's the only lesson we've learned. So this is all we're doing is 5.1.1. That's a great question. I'm glad you asked it. Yes. Are we going to do this one? I'm going to explain it when we're done with 5.1.1. Okay. It shouldn't take you too long to do 5.1.1 because now you only have four more to do because we just did, did it. Okay? As a matter of fact, when you're done, raise your hand because I'm going to check it. Okay, get busy. <laughs> <laughs>